In this session, let's learn about database shutdown concepts. Okay, whenever you shut down the database, it means we are closing the database and also terminating the instance. Yes, we are completely shutting down the database so that no users can perform any transactions on the database. Okay, there are three phases whenever you shut down the database. They are you close the database, you dismount the database and you shut down the instance. Okay, the first step you close the database. In this phase Oracle will write all the data present in the shared global area to the disk updates all the file headers with the latest system change number and then closes all the online data files and the redo log files. Okay, now the database will come to the mount mode. Okay, that's the first phase. Once it closes the database, then it dismounts the database. When we say dismount, the Oracle database disconnects from the associated instance. Yes, just like in the startup, how in the mount mode, how a database was associated with an instance, in the same way, in a dismount mode, the associated instance is dismounted with the database. Once the database is unmounted, the Oracle database will close all the control files. Okay, at this point, even though the instance is de-associated with the database, the instance is still in the memory. And now, during the third phase where the shutdown of the instance happens, the instance is completely removed from the memory, which is our shared global area, and then terminates all the background processes associated with the instance. Okay? Cool, right? This is what happens. It closes the database, then it dismounts the database, and then it shuts down the instance. Sometimes, whenever we are shutting down the database, for whatever reason, the shared global area or the background processes may not shut down completely. So, what happens whenever we start the database next time, we will get errors. So, as a DBA, we force the instance to start. Okay? There are several ways in which you can shut down a database. You can either shut down a database in an immediate mode or a transactional mode or a normal mode or a abort mode. Yes, you can shut down a database in one of these four modes. Yes, as a DBA, you make the decision in which mode you want to shut down the database. We will see what happens in each mode. Okay, the first one in the shutdown immediate mode. The Oracle database will terminate all the executing SQL statement and disconnects the users. Yes, all the active transactions which are running are terminated and if necessary, the uncommitted changes are rolled back and immediately performs a checkpoint and closes the online data files. Yes, it doesn't wait for any of the sessions or the transactions to complete. It closes all the sessions and transactions immediately and then issues a checkpoint and closes the data files. Okay? Shut down transactional. In this mode, the database will wait for all the current transactions to complete. But it doesn't allow the users to start any new transactions. Okay? Let me repeat that again. In this mode, the database will wait till all the current transactions complete, but it will not allow the users to start any new transactions. Okay? Once all the current transactions are complete, the Oracle will perform a checkpoint and close all the online data files. Okay? If you have to shut down the database in a transactional mode, it is shut down transactional. Okay? Next one, shut down normal. In this mode, the database will wait for all the connected users to disconnect 
before shutting down the database. That means it will wait for all the current transactions to end and also if the user is starting any new transactions, it will let the new transaction start and once the user is done with all his transactions and if he closes the sessions, then only the database will be shut down. This is called as a shutdown normal because we wait till all the users disconnect from the database. Okay? If we have to shut down the database in a normal mode, you can issue the command shutdown normal. Okay? The final mode is shutdown abort. In this mode, the database is shut down quickly. It doesn't wait for anything. Even it doesn't issue a checkpoint. It just closes all the files and then shut down the database. That is why this is the fastest shutdown mode. And also, since the files were closed abruptly without any checkpoints, when we start the database next time, we need the instance recovery and obviously that will take time. Unless necessary and you see issues in the database, you shouldn't shut down the database in a abort mode because shutting down the database in a abort mode will lead to a inconsistent database. Unless required, don't go for the shutdown abort option. Okay? And if you have to shut down the database in a abort mode, it is shutdown abort. Okay? This is the summary of various actions which are performed whenever we shut down the database in different modes. Okay? Abort, immediate, transactional and normal. In all the modes, the new connections are not allowed and the database will wait until the current sessions end only in the normal mode. In the other three modes, the database will not wait until the current sessions end and the database will wait until the current transactions end only in the transactional mode and the normal mode. It does not wait in the abort mode and the immediate mode. And finally, the Oracle database will force a checkpoint and close the file only in the immediate mode, transactional mode and the normal mode. Only in the abort mode, it will not issue a checkpoint. So, abort mode is the most dangerous one and it can lead to a inconsistent state. And if the database is in an inconsistent state, when the database is start up next time, the database need to perform the instance recovery. Okay? So, take a look at this summary and depending on your need, you can issue the appropriate shutdown command. Okay?